we have been way too strict with our religion on a lot of times, and we have made life so impossible and so unrealistic by preaching that anniversaries are bid'ah and haram. This is honestly very, very strict and foolish, and I have to be very blunt here. It's nothing is wrong with this, it's a cultural thing. Anybody who says this is haram, well then we're speaking in English, wearing pant and shirt, living in Canada, everything becomes haram then, right? Imitating the kuffar is haram when you imitate something that is uniquely kuffar. So wearing the cross is imitating the kuffar. Wearing the clothing of a pastor, which is the white collar, this is haram, right? Celebrating Christmas is imitating the kuffar, this is haram. As for speaking their language, as for wearing a pant and shirt, as for their general customs and culture, right? Guys, I'm gonna have a halal hamburger for lunch. That's what the brothers have promised me. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Am I imitating the kuffar when I like hamburger? Not hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. Not a ham hamburger, a beef hamburger, right? Zabiha, 100% certified. Now, am I imitating the kuffar if I like a hamburger for lunch? You tell me. I mean, wallahi, we have gone so strict in this regard that only certain things have become bid'ah and, and, and haram. There is nothing wrong with celebrating a personal anniversary. How can the Sharia say that a husband taking his wife out on a romantic dinner on their 15th anniversary, their 5th anniversary, candlelight dinner, beautiful restaurant, nice uh, halal zabiha food or seafood, right? <laughs> And then, you know, telling her, I'll do it all over again, honey. Even if he doesn't mean it, doesn't matter. But he's allowed to lie in this regard, okay? Uh, how can this be haram when you're bringing so much love to your family, right? This is what uh, a wife wants. She wants this love. She wants this attention. She wants to be told that the, the, the passion is still there. And the husband, these are the days that he can show this. Alhamdulillah. Guys, it's only one day of the year, man. Just do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so... For us to come and say, oh, it is haram to celebrate wedding anniversaries. SubhanAllah. On what basis are you making this haram? What? And which is, which ayah, which hadith? Yani, let me ask you, is it haram to bring flowers home to your wife on any day of the year? I'm asking, is it haram? No. Now, did the Prophet ever bring flowers to his wife? It wasn't their culture. Right? Are you going to say it's haram because the Prophet didn't do it? Because the Sahaba didn't do it? They didn't have roses in Medina. <laughs> It wasn't their culture to bring these types of things. In our culture, try it. Husbands, wallahi, try it. I know this is so strange for you to think about. Go buy some beautiful bouquet of flowers and surprise your wife. See how happy your wife becomes. She's gonna be so ecstatic. SubhanAllah, isn't this what the Sharia wants? That husbands and wives, they have a good relationship. When the family is solid, society is solid. Right? Sisters are really happy when I'm saying that. <laughs> Sisters, you gotta reciprocate as well, by the way. It's a two-way street, you know what I'm saying? It's not just a one-way street. And Lofran has a long list of requests you want. But anyway, <laughs> okay.